5 has finally made its triumphant debut. And to celebrate its addition to Pirate Warriors 4, I'm going to be replaying the whole story of the Straw Hat crew in order to earn myself the Platinum Trophy. The game begins by introducing us to the basic things like specials, full force burst, form changes such as the Gear 4, which they're teasing us with early on. I continue playing through the rest of the tutorial. Beating that and my first thousand enemies would net me a trophy for each of the things I mentioned before. So that includes using a special skill one time, using it ten times, beating a thousand enemies normally, beating enemies with full force burst, beating enemies with gear four, finishing the tutorial, and finally clearing a mission with a power type character, which in this case is our boy Luffy here. And just like that, right off the bat, we got seven out of the forty trophies we are going to need for the platinum. On to the first of our islands, we're going to be reliving the Arab Basta art. A kingdom in the desert ruled and governed by the warlord Crocodile. By this point, I'm way more used to the controls. I'm having fun. I'm zipping around the map. Skywalk! Excuse my mic, my camera wasn't recording, but essentially I got this for staying in the air for over 10 seconds and I did this by continuously dashing all over the place. On my way to Crocodile, I was ambushed by a bunch of marines and a marine captain by the name of Smoker was hunting us down. Smoker! Where is Smoker? Oh, there he is! Alright, Smoker, 1v1, let's go. And Tashigi? Alright, I'll take out Tashigi first. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose, man. If I don't pay attention, I need to heal. Is that food? Whoa, 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 whoa! He's actually gonna kill me! Oh my goodness. What do I do? What do I do? Come on, come on. End him, end him, end him, end him before he's done. No! I just ended up switching to Luffy, who for me was way more reliable to use. Moving on, the Straw Hats would get kidnapped and it would be up to Sanji or Mr. Prince to save them. Beating this mission would net me a trophy for winning as a flying type character. Hey, lightning speed! You want to battle with a speed type character for the first time. Two hours later, I'd be playing as Zoro again, looking for bombs to disarm them before the timer runs out. Here, I only have two minutes left and I have to find it before it goes off. <gasps> two minutes! Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna crunch right now. Ah, uh, two minutes left. Where is he? How do I get up there? Okay, I get into these gates, I think. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. There is still hope. I'll have to cut him down fast. Please don't let that be Crocodile or something. Okay, just Artillery Soldier. <laughs> Not even named. Yeah, he's dead. Light work. Die, die. All right. Mission. Okay, mission success. <gasps> Supernova! Achieved Battle Grade S in any episode. Alas, my time in Alabasta is coming to an end. It's time for me to face Crocodile in a glorious 1v1 manner. Damn, bro, my combos in this game are insane. What the crocodile? Water's break pouring out of one of the broken pipes. Attack the pillar. Ooh, I get it. Turned back into his physical form by the water. Yes, sir. Essentially, after following this strategy, I managed to continuously barrage him until I beat him. Luffy would take him down and effectively free the kingdom of Alabasta. I think I just cleared the whole chapter. My friend Seal cleared dramatic log Alabasta arc. With Alabasta saved and Robin out of a boss, she decides to join us. So her and the Straw Hat crew head over to Ennius Lobby in order to repair their ship. But it's before I begin this mission that I unlock this next trophy. Increases attack against unconscious enemies at higher skill levels. <laughs> this guy's got a coward skill. <gasps> Fantastic hardship! Acquired one or more skills. Okay. While playing as Usopp, I'm off to go to the ship repair store so that I can get all the materials for our ship. But on the way there, I got jumped by like a million different thugs who all wanted to rob me. Like there was like, um, I swear to God, I must have killed like 2,000 of these guys and they were fighting me over some ship money. Like these guys were an army. They could have done way more than that. But of course, it was nothing that Usopp couldn't hit. Enraged at what they just witnessed, the boys and little old Chopper storm off to the thug's house, leaving no trace and taking every single one of them down. Of course, Usopp's pride was damaged. He felt weak and useless. Later that night, you would have an argument with Luffy. Usopp wanted to do all he can to fix the weak ship because he believes just because something is weak doesn't mean that it should be discarded. While Luffy was saying it's just a ship, we need something stronger. This one has done all it can. The fight wouldn't de-escalate and it would continue. In a fit of rage, Luffy accidentally suggests that if he can't handle it, he should leave the crew. Sanji tries to stop him before he can finish his sentence, but Usopp heard it all. He says, fine. If we can't see eye to eye anymore, then I'm leaving this crew. Before he left though, he challenges Luffy to a fight. 
a duel, one on one. Winner gets to keep the ship. He <laughs> one of the most pointless fights of all time, bro. I mean, there is no reason for this fight to take place. One person is an absolute beast, and the other one is just a guy. I don't know what Luffy was thinking fighting Usopp. Oh, hell no. Usopp lost? How? Impossible. This must have been created by the fans. Ain't no way my boy God D Usopp lost. Damn, bro. Sophistication. You want to battle the technique type character for the first time. Oh, man. That was so emotional, bro. And with the money that I'd earned from that mission, I'd upgrade this skill I saw earlier that caught my eye. Essentially, it allows the enemies to drop more money. And from my quick glance at a trophy list, there is a trophy that requires me to get 100 million berries. So if I max this out now and start using it, maybe it'll get me a good head start. What I didn't know, however, is that maxing out this skill actually gets me a different trophy. Oh, push on through. One of your skill levels has maxed out. Damn. Okay, yeah. Meanwhile, all of this was going down with Usopp, Robin got kidnapped by the world government. So, on our way to save her, we would earn a bunch of miscellaneous trophies. For starters, we would power dash a thousand times, we would unlock at least 25% of the gallery, we would destroy over a thousand stage objects, and we would max out one of our character's crew levels, netting me four trophies. We kick it up into third gear against the vice captain of our kidnapper. Now we come face to face with the boss, Luchi, an undercover agent working for the Marines. Luffy must do everything in his power in order to take down Rob Luchi so that he can save his kidnapped friend Robin. Sadly, however, though, he fails and he is actually unable to beat Luchi. But thankfully, there's somebody else who can beat Luchi. It is none other. Then God D Usopp! Usopp manages to not only save Luffy, but solo Rob Lucci. That is exactly how the story went down. You, If you want to contend me too bad, this is my video. I get to decide how the story is told. If you have a problem with it, Write it down in the comments. After clearing that and the remainder of the arc, I unlocked the Declaration of War trophy for beating the NES Lobby arc. Ooh. Declaration of War! Clear Dramatic Log NES Lobby arc. Because of all the missions that I've played, I have collected over 10 or more playable characters, which earned me another trophy. Damn, bro, look at all these coins. I'm gonna be so much stronger next arc. And we unlocked. I want 10 people collected 10 or more playable characters. Oh man, the Summit War arc. This is where everything changes. Why do things have to change? Why can't things be the same forever? We'd already get dusted in the first mission. We'd lose. Honestly, I got pretty annoyed. I died a few times. Please. Blocked all of it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just got bolded by him bro look at him oh my god because of all the times i've died actually you still earn coins so by the end of this mission i earned a trophy for collecting 50 types of coins or more bounty hunter now the summit war arc a fan favorite and a controversial top arc of the series it's either this or wano it's between these two luffy has recently learned that his brother ace was captured by the marines they gave me the choice to play as luffy or the strongest man in the world. I had a field day with this. I destroyed everything that touched my path. And because of that, I toppled over 10,000 enemies using a full force burst, which gave me a trophy. The power to destroy the world. Toppled the 10,000 enemies during a full force burst. The profile of the trophy is Whitebeard and I'm using him right now. He is an absolute freaking beast. Sadly though, Luffy would not succeed in rescuing his brother. He would take an L and the Straw Hats would be done. Nah, imagine. They would come back two years later stronger than ever, each having individually trained to become the best version they could possibly be, so that they may never lose as miserably as they have before. With this momentum, we would clear through the Summit War arc as well as the New World arc. We'd land on Whole Cake Island, an arc with an Emperor and Betrayal. Before we get into it though, we're going to cover some trophies that we've earned along the way before landing here. So for starters, we got one for completing the Summit War arc. We got another one for playing as a Sky-type character for the first time. In our case, it was Crocodile during that war arc. We were helping out Luffy. It was pretty sick. Another one, maxing out a character's action growth level. For us, it was Luffy post time skip, which we would get another trophy for beating. Afterwards, there would be two miscellaneous ones that we naturally earned along the way. One being unlocking 75% of the gallery and the other being collecting 30 or more playable characters. Now onto Whole Cake Island arc, Sanji has deserted us. 
our cook, the blonde guy that shot me up early on, he wanted to kick me again. He liked how it felt the first time, and he wanted seconds. The reason Sanji has deserted him was that he believed he was saving him. So, through the help of him and the other Straw Hat crew and Jinbei, we'd crash the wedding of Big Mom's daughter and take her on head on. We'd also meet Katakuri, her first commander. When we tried leaving the island, Katakuri had something to say about it and he stopped us in our tracks. Luffy separated from the rest of the group and took Katakuri, the first commander of the Emperor, head on, 1v1. Through tapping into our anime plot armor, we unlock a new transformation. New to Luffy, but we actually saw this in the tutorial, it's Snake Man. Damn, bro, if I can get Snake, if I can start using Snake Man all the time, yo, that'd be so much better than Bounce Man. Yo, what if I can switch between the both of them, that'd be sick. Let's see his moves. <laughs> I'm gonna just run. Whoa, 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 we didn't get to see it. What does my triangle do? Wow, it extends very far. All right, what does my special do? Stamp, okay, okay, okay. Just barrage him, just kill him. It's like, this is no time to be experimenting. Onward to Wano. Clear dramatic log, whole cake island arc, finally. And got Snake Man. That's all the transformations before Gear 5 comes out. Now we're in the final arc, Land of Wano. The best part about this arc is that there is no way I'm going to be playing as anybody else besides Luffy because now I not only have Bounce Man, I have Snake Man and I can just keep jumping between those two transformations. The final battle isn't like the battle we know today. Released this game way earlier than Kaido fight so Luffy doesn't get knocked out by Kaido and unlock gear 5. He beats Kaido through the help of teamwork because friendship because <laughs> friendship was the real one piece with simultaneously beating big mom and Kaido we have finished the story mode a new dawn to clear dramatic log ah, we made it we're done we now move on to the treasure log <laughs> <laughs> yes yes oh man we must have a chance Adventures at Daybreak cleared at least one East Blue Battle from the Treasure Log. It's just a bunch of special scenarios like what if we were the ones fighting the pirates instead of the pirates fighting the marines. We'd have to beat the three key missions in East Blue. Winner! When do I get to unlock my dragon form? Le level G <laughs> promoted to treasure log grand line. Oh, okay. So this confirms that we actually don't have to play all the treasure log missions. We didn't have to play the key ones. Oh man, that would have taken forever if we had to play all of them. If we wanted to get more out of the game, we could play all of them. But we're here for the platinum, so we don't have to do it. Then we progress to grand line. Then we progress to new world. Doing these would earn the final bits and pieces of my trophies. Family, twenty or more characters crew levels have maxed out. Perfect, a huge open space that I can just go berserk in. Sorry, Pro Bean God, I'm gonna just maul through all of you guys. The strongest creature toppled a total of 100,000 foes. Bro, when does the mission end? Is it over? Oh my gosh, I am now the true pirate warrior. I have defeated all of them, every single one the admiral, the warlords. The freaking emperors! Every single person that's powerful! I fought them all in a single mission! We did it! That name of SC is... We did it! With the last one being the most tedious one out of all of them. So I have beaten the treasure log, I have beaten the dramatic log, but I still have one thing left to do, and that is earning a hundred million berries. Oh my goodness. Here's what I did. I got Kaido, I did his special missions to earn his dragon form. Give me the dragon form! Oh my gosh, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Okay, for size comparison, look, look, how, look how big this guy is compared to my foot. Let's do it, let's do it! <laughs> oh my. I assigned myself the best skills for gathering berries, one being from Nami and another one being from Bartholomew, and I would farm that tutorial mission that we did very early on. I would do its counterpart, the higher level one, and I would just do that as fast as possible. I would get so good at this that at first it took me five minutes to clear, but near the end I was clearing it in less than three minutes. And it would take me a full day of playing this mission over and over and over and over. I would start to lose my sanity a little bit. Trophy question mark, trophy question mark, trophy question mark, trophy question mark. 
Trophy. Question mark. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Hey, when I get older, I will. All I had to do was keep going. It got really, really monotonous. But you know what? Yes! Yes! Finally! Yes! Finally! Finally! The fifth emperor of the sea in the avenue animation! That looked beautiful. We did it. Now we can move on and finish this. No. Wait. We're done. And that is the Platinum Trophy. If you like seeing me Platinum this One Piece game, comment down below what other anime game I should Platinum. I want to Platinum as many of them as I possibly can. It's a fun challenge. But you know what wasn't a fun challenge? Playing through the entirety of Demon Slayer without taking any damage. Click here to see how that went down for me.